Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com and today I want to talk to you about real change. Uh, now I do apologise at first if my voice is a little bit croaky, uh, I am a little bit ill as you can possibly hear, I've seemed to have picked up a cold um, but that will soon go so don't worry about that. So real change, what do I mean by that? I rewatched uh, The Secret last night, now if you've never heard of The Secret it's, it's a film, you can find it for free on YouTube, um, it's about the same length of time as a normal film, so it's about, you know, an hour and a half, and um, it just has some amazing people in it and some great sort of golden nuggets of information and advice about what is called the Law of Attraction. Now, the Law of Attraction, what is that? Well, the Law of Attraction is basically the way you use your mind, and particularly the subconscious mind, to program yourself to get what you really want because you see so many of us say that we want this or we want that and yet we have these deep subconscious beliefs that um, put blocks in our way for example in the western culture um, we're all sort of given images of these um, beautiful men and women who have got like six packs and they look fab and they have you know great big houses and they have fabulous jobs and we look at them and we all kind of go, oh, I want to live like that. But if we all really did want to live like that, why wouldn't we go out and make it happen? You know, why are so many people eating a bad diet? Why are so many people overweight? If they really want to look beautiful, why are they not looking after their bodies properly? Why are they not going to the gym? Why are they not, you know, finding a role that really, you know, makes them feel more alive and isn't more in line with who they really are? Why are they not taking the time to, you know, personally develop themselves or, or ask for the help that they need um, so we do have a lot of subconscious blocks in place now real change is I think something that comes upon you and when I'm talking about real change I don't mean something like you know changing you know buying some new bed clothes or you know buying some slightly different food at the supermarket, that could be the first sign of change. Um, but real change I think is something that you don't get to choose. It comes upon you when the universe or fate or destiny or God or whatever it is you call it decides it's right for you. Um, and it all starts with a kind of idea in your mind that won't go away. Um, maybe it's a sudden realisation you know, you you are in a situation that you've been in hundreds of times and then all of a sudden something comes to you, like a sudden realisation about that situation or about the person or about the place that you're in. Um, it's something that you probably won't understand at first, you probably won't know what to do with it at first, you won't know why it's been given to you, you might try and ignore it. Um, and the thing is, it's been given to you for a reason. Now, I'm not saying necessarily that uh, we all get these sort of lightning strikes of intuition and innovation. It, it, it does come by degrees. I'm quite lucky. I do have a lot of, I would actually call, revelations in my life. You know, I'm in a certain situation and um, all of a sudden something will just come to me um, because I'm thinking about it and a new perspective or a new idea will come to me. For example, yesterday um, I was uh, staying in a church. Um, I, I don't go into church very often. I'm not Christian. I'm not religious. Um, but I do believe that there's, there's there is something out there. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't understand exactly what it does, but I believe there's something out there. And I went into this church, and I I was basically there, just standing there, speaking to whatever it is that's out there. If it's out there, if it can hear me. I don't always think it can. Um, just in my mind and I was just saying, you know, I don't really understand what's going on, but please just help me live the right way, um, whatever that way is meant to be for me. Um, help me not to put roadblocks in, in my own way. Help me not to judge myself too badly when I don't understand things. And just help me to come to terms with who I really am and where I'm meant to be. So as I say, you're not going to necessarily understand it and I couldn't exactly explain where it comes from. Um, but 
these things do happen and whilst we shouldn't all wait for you know the lightning strike it's not going to happen that way necessarily for everybody um, I do think it can also be obtained or be reached if you like um, by a lot of personal development by thinking about your own situation by exposing yourself to others I don't actually like exposing myself to others um, I'm quite uh, I'm not antisocial I'm um, I like the people in my life and I like to be within that set group of people really that's my security that's my comfort um, so but it, it, getting to speak to people it does often give you a new perspective on life and from those interactions you might sometimes see something that you couldn't see before um, because we take a lot of our lives for granted and we don't really see um, how lucky we are or, or really the opportunities we have um, again in the secret yesterday something that Bob Proctor said um, he said you can do anything you, you, you have a marvellous mind and you can do anything that you desire don't ever believe anybody who tells you that you can't now if you don't know who Bob Proctor is he um, basically was a guy who his income went from 4,000 a year to I think it was something like a hundred thousand or something in a year, it was something ridiculous. Um, and he said up to the age of 26, I mean he was he was just miserable. Um, and it wasn't until co someone commented to him that he said, you know, you're, you're always miserable and you're always ill. In fact, you are the most miserable person I have ever seen. And uh, why don't you change it? And it wasn't until that point that um, he realised that he could. So you've got to try and work out where it is that you want to go. You you won't always find it when you're thinking and, and running through these things and you won't always have the answers I know that can be frustrating but the more you search the more likely fate or again whatever it is is likely to come towards you so um, I'm sure you've heard of the expression help him who helps himself if you're seen to be making an effort but some odd reason the universe gives back it's not always at the point that you expect but it does um, and that's quite astounding. Um, so real change could be it's it's always internal. Um, it's never external. Moving house might seem like a change, but if you retain to be the same person and you bring all the same stuff with you, really it's just a moving location. That's all it is. It's not a real change. Real change is internal. It's a change in personality, it's a change in behaviour, it's a change in habit, it's a change in perspective, it's a change in what you're trying to achieve and uh, it's quite unnerving for a lot of people. Um, again you might not understand it, people around you won't understand it at all and you won't be able to explain it to them. My friend, uh, I have a good friend, her name is Angela and uh, she's very homely, she works in the eBay business from home, has done for a long time now um, and something really weird happened to her a few months ago she had she had a dream one night that she was in India and she woke up she's 26 years old like me she woke up and she has known from that moment on that she has to go out and explore the world now I don't know why that has come to her she doesn't know why that has come to her all I know is this it has come to her and it will be revealed in time what that reason is and she has to follow that, that is not going to go away for her, she has to do that um, you know and yes it's going to take her a while to build up the skills and the confidence to go and do that, she's not a traveller um, she doesn't speak many foreign languages um, if, if any at all um, she you know she, she can travel by train but she's not really um, she's not flown for a long time, yes she went abroad with the parents when she was young but she hasn't done it for a few years, certainly not on her own um, so real change is it's incredible and when you know what that is I think you have to go and you just have to do it and as I say it's not going to make sense but you will just get a sense that for, for whatever reason, against the odds, against logic, against everybody telling you against 
your own mind saying, hang on a second, I haven't assessed this properly. Um, it's just there. It's just there and you have to follow that and it all will be revealed in time. So uh, that's my talk from today. I hope you found that useful. Um, do comment below. Um, it would be really, really interesting to hear if you've ever had just something come upon you that like that and, and what you what you did. Um, whether you thought you were alone or not, because you're certainly not alone, but at the time it can feel quite bizarre to think you, you know, you're going a bit crazy. Um, but it's a phenomenal experience and if you've ever had a moment like that consider yourself very, very blessed because it means that you are so close to who you are meant to be and it's like in the dark tunnel somebody has, has lit a torch and shone, shone the way for you um, so you're not scratching around so don't be afraid to to just do it don't be afraid to become somebody different it's quite a scary process I know it means changing a lot internally you might not recognise yourself at times um, but yeah just let me just let me know um, and of course you can always reach me on my website which is pipweekly.com again I've always got loads of amazing blogs on there for you about just so many things that stop us reaching who we really are um, things that again are subconscious and we don't realise and of course I'm on Facebook as well, pickweekly.com. That is actually the best place to be um, because I let you know about all the YouTube releases, all the blog releases and I try and post something on there every single day. 